Hey guys, Elizabeth's Cam. Today's look is already on my face. I sat down and had no idea what I was doing. I just knew that I had to sit down and film because I haven't done it in so long and I was itching to put color on my face, to put something on my face. I just spent, spent a long, long time. But anyway, today we're doing this colorful moment. I'm very excited. Feeling good, feeling sparkly, feeling pink. I could go to the grocery store and pick up lettuce like this for cilantro. I mean, it's a great everyday wearable look. Grocery store moment, Target, anywhere, anywhere, really. You're just, here we are. So if you wanna see how to get this look, then just keep watching. All right, so we're gonna start with my brows as we always do. I'm gonna go in with my Pink Honey Wonder Whip Pomade and I'm just gonna run that through my brows. And then I'm gonna go in with my little hourglass pencil and I'm just gonna go ahead and further fill them in, but I use this more to define them. And then once I do that, I'm going to go in with my double base from Helen E. Cosmetics. I'm going to carve out the top and bottom of my brows, and then I'm going to fill in my lid. I love this eye base. I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with a sponge. And then we're going to go in with the Lorac Pro Artistry Book Chapter 2. I'm going to start with the shade in the navy, and I'm just going to pop that in my crease in a little rounded out shape. I'm also going to pull it underneath my eye just a little bit. And I'm going to go into the shade Bad Energy, and I'm going to use that to kind of buff out that blue shade and start our little purple gradient here and then I'm going to go into Rude Gal and I'm going to start to brighten up this blend a little bit. We're just going to blend that all around and then the final blend is going to be the shade Trust Fund which is a really pretty pastel light purple and I'm just going to use that to soften the edges of this little eye look we got going on. Now I'm going to go back through and just re-blend, re-intensify, make sure everything looks good, no harsh lines, yada yada yada. Now I'm going to go in with some micellar water on a q-tip. I'm going to go ahead and cut out my crease. We're only doing a little half cut crease today so I'm going to get rid of all that excess shadow and then once I do that I'm going to go in with my P. Louise paint in limelight and I'm going to go ahead and just fill in that area that we just got rid of all of that excess shadow I'm going to pop this base on and then I'm going to blend it out I'm going to go back in with the shade in the navy and I'm just going to buff out the edges of that green base just to kind of make everything look a little more cohesive and then I'm going to go into the hauntingly glamorous palette from Unearthly Cosmetics and Sydney Nicole Adams I'm going to take the shade Glamour Ghoul and I'm just going to pop that right on top of that green base that we just laid down. Then I'm going to go into the shade Blood Curdling from that same palette and I'm going to pop it right between the green and the blue just to give a little bit more of a gradient blend so that it's not so harsh. And then once again back in with that dark blue just to buff out the edges. Now I'm going to go in with my little Sheen Epic Liner in Bubblegum and I'm going to draw a line right where that base meets the purple just for a little pop of something something. We're going to start working on my face now. I'm going to go in with the Plump It Right Back Primer from NYX. I love this primer. It's so hydrating and everything lays on top of it super nicely. It's so good. For foundation, we're trying a new one. This is the Immaculate Foundation from Hourglass. And it's like a liquid to powder foundation kind of deal. So it wasn't a lot of coverage. And the shade was sort of off. But I did like it for what it did. It just didn't give me enough. You know what I mean? It didn't give me the coverage that I was looking for. So I went in with my Born to Glow on top of it. There was a lot of foundation on my face. Like there was a mask of foundation on my face. I never, ever put this much makeup on, but here we are. Anyway, I'm going to throw on my Born to Glow. We're going to blend that out. And then I'm going to go in with the Hourglass Concealer. I'm just going to pop that underneath my eyes, my chin, my forehead, and my nose. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend those areas out. I like this concealer. I do. And sometimes it looks a little cakey and sometimes it doesn't. So I feel like I just have to find the right consistency of like product on my face. You know what I mean? I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna go in with that and then I'm gonna go in with my Morphe contour stick. I'm just gonna pop that on my forehead, my cheeks, my nose, my chin, and underneath my lip. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend those areas out. But I am gonna go in with my concealer around my nose first because I'm just gonna carve out my nose. We're wearing a shit ton of makeup, so I might as well make it look good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and blend all of those areas out. We're just gonna make sure that I'm looking chiseled and beautiful and cute caked up. And then I'm going to go in with the Blursh from Made by Mitchell and Posy Rosie. I'm going to pop that on the tops of my cheekbones and then I'm just going to blend that out. I'm going to bake my face now. I'm going to bake underneath my eyes, my nose, my smile lines, and then I'm going to use whatever's left on my sponge just to set down the rest of my face before going in with the e.l.f. Camo Foundation Powder. I'm going to let the powder that I just baked with sit for a second before dusting it off with this guy. I really like this powder. I do. I feel like the shade is a little bit off, but not enough to like notice. You know what I mean? Like I think it's just a me thing. However, I do like the powder. I'm going to bronze up my face now. I'm going to go in with my Kylie bronzer as per use. 
huge. I love this bronzer. Honestly, it is one of my favorites. Like, I can't, I can't help it. It's just, it's good. It's really, really good. For blush, I'm going in with the Hide and Shriek Blush Duo from Ulta and Pixar. These are literally my favorite blushes right now. Like, I could use any other blush, but I choose not to because these are just so good. The pigment, the shimmer, the matte, like they're just so good and they look nice too. I'm obsessed. Popping back over to my eyes, I'm going to go back in with that in the navy shade and I'm going to pop it on the outer corner of my lower lash line, right? So we're just going to keep this on the outer portion. And then I'm going to go in with bad energy and kind of blend it out, do the same thing on the outer corner. We're going to go in with rude gal. Once again, the same thing, brighten it up a little bit, blend it out. And then finally, we're going to go in with trust fund to soften all the edges and make sure it's all blended out. For the inner part of my lower lash line, we're going to go into Her Vibe from the Artistry book chapter two. I'm just going to throw that on the inner corner and then kind of blend it into that blue purple thing that we got going on. And then I'm going to go in with this Be Perfect liquid glitter shadow and I'm going to pop it right on top of that pink shadow that we just laid down. For my, what is this called? My waterline, I'm going to throw that limelight paint in there. We're just going to add a little pop in the waterline. And then I'm going to go into the Hauntingly Glamorous palette. I'm going to take the shade Lily and pop that in my inner corner and also on my brow bone. And then once I do that, I'm going to go in with some mascara, pop that all up on my lashes. And then for highlight, because I forgot to do it, I'm going to go in with Elvira from that same palette, pop it on my cheekbones, my lip, and my nose. And then we're going to go in with the Thicket Stick It Brow Gel from NYX. I'm going to go ahead and just tame my brows, lock them down. I love this brow gel. Like, I do. It's so good. It's really just the best. I'm gonna throw on a lash, and these are the dagger lashes from Cash Beauty. I finally got them back from my mom's house. I love them. They're great. Anyway, then I'm gonna go in with my lip. We're gonna line them with the Allure Liner from NYX, and then I'm gonna pop on a little lip gloss from Kylie, and that is it. That is it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. This was really fun to do. I feel very refreshed, okay? I have not played with bright, bright color like this in a long time. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling colorful. I'm feeling happy. It was like 77 degrees out today, so I felt like doing something really bright and happy and like summery, I guess. I don't even know, but I just, I'm feeling good. Life is good. We're looking great, feeling good. We've got a lot of blush on. Like I'm just, things are rolling, things are moving. I'm ready to go to bed, so that's what I'm gonna do. But if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.